Hello there. The rain in central London has stopped. We have a brief moment of what appears to be summer. The internet is awash with people talking about <clears throat> Simone Biles. The discourse that I have seen, <clears throat> the conversations that I have seen, show a complete lack of humanity to start off with. Uh, and, and a real misunderstanding of high performance. Not to mention the, the nature of Simone Biles, if you even look at what she's done and achieved in the midst of abuse and standing up against the USAG as it did little to nothing about it and using her platform to support others now. But even if we just stick to the, the competition element here, what kind of monster thinks that a, a person who's achieved what she has achieved, who has performed at this cutting edge for the longest period of time, whose every performance is expected to transcend the previous, what kind of person doesn't understand that when she says, I need to pause now because she's not said I need to stop uh, I'll never compete again I need to pause now for my mental health what kind of person doesn't look at her and say that is a shame I, I, I wish I could watch you do amazing things I'd love to be entertained by your brilliance but your mental health comes first I tell you, we, we live in a world that is performative in so many ways, but <clears throat> you look at the Simone Biles story, the, 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 the Osaka story, and you realize that nobody cares. Entertain me. And if you are wounded in the process, if you die in the process, The next one will come along, but entertain me. This is a new world. Through COVID, we have seen people humanized. We have peered into the lives of our peers. We have witnessed their pain and bereavement and loneliness and isolation and crowded surroundings. How can we possibly be at this stage so callous when somebody tells you that their pain, their mental anguish is so real, so present, that the stress and pressure is so much that rather than produce a diamond, it threatens to crush them and we critique. There are so few people, a handful perhaps, who can conceive of the brilliance of Simone Biles. Who can understand a fraction of the work that she's put in. If you're not one of them, you have no place to critique and compassion should be your watchword. When you look to the people who are in that handful, they're notable by their silence.